morning. Thank you all for coming to the opening ceremony for the post election seminar, the Cayman Islands Legislative Assembly. We'll start today's proceedings with a prayer by Mr. Winston Connolly, Councillor BA LLB MLA. Let us pray, please stand. Almighty God, from whom all wisdom and power are derived, we beseech thee so to direct and prosper the deliberations of the Legislative Assembly now assembled, that all things may be ordered upon the best and surest foundations for the glory of thy name and for the surety, honor, and welfare of the people of these islands. Bless our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth II, Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Charles, Prince of Wales, and all the royal family. Give grace to all who exercise authority in our commonwealth, that peace and happiness, truth and justice, religion and piety may be established amongst us. Especially we pray for the governor of our islands, the speaker of the legislative assembly, official members and ministers of cabinet, and members of the legislative assembly, that we may be enabled faithfully to perform the responsible duties of our high office. All this we ask for thy great name's sake. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us peace now and always. Amen. Please, Please be seated. seated. I now invite Ms. Arlene Bouchette, who is the Assistant Director of Communication Research at the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Secretariat to give remarks on behalf of the CPA. Apologies. Your Excellency, Premier of the Cayman Islands, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin, Speaker of the Cayman Islands Legislative Assembly, the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly, Honorable Members of Parliament, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning again. Before I actually start, I would just like to take a few minutes to digress slightly and ask that we keep in our thoughts and in our prayers the people in the, in the Philippines at the moment who have, who are trying to overcome this terrible typhoon that they've just faced. And as we sit here and we deliberate and we embrace the fact that we are part of a Commonwealth family, let us not lose sight of the fact that we are also part of a larger global family. And please, you know, send your sympathies for those people out there. I am honored and privileged to be able to give some brief remarks at the opening of this important post-election seminar for newly elected members of parliament, as well as those returning to parliament. I bring greetings from the chairperson of the CPA Executive Committee, the Right Honorable Sir Alan Hazelhurst, the members of the CPA Executive Committee, the CPA Secretary General, Dr. William F. Shija, and the entire CPA family. On behalf of the resource team, and indeed on my own behalf, I wish to thank you all for the very warm hospitality and friendship extended to us since our arrival here in Georgetown, Grand Cayman. Honorable members, 
The post-election seminar is one of the core programs of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. Held following a general election, the post-election seminar is aimed at building the capacity of newly elected members so that they function efficiently and effectively in the performance of their democratic duties. It also serves as a refresher course for returning MPs. Assisting in this process is an experienced team of experts drawn from within the Commonwealth family in the Caribbean, Americas, and Atlantic region. These experts will share their experiences with you. They will also learn from you as we work together to identify benchmarks of good governance. Their aim simply is to assist you to function effectively in Parliament, in its committees, and in your other political duties. And if I may do so, if I can introduce them to you, the resource team is, the Honorable Wade Mark, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Trinidad and Tobago. The Honorable Randolph Horton, Speaker of the House of Assembly, Bermuda. Mrs. Heather Cook, Clerk to the Houses of Parliament, Jamaica. And joining us later today, the Honorable Alex Boyd Knights, Speaker of the House of Assembly, Dominica. The CPA has held in excess of 50 post-election seminars in 30 other Commonwealth jurisdictions since 1991 as part of its programs of strengthening the institution of parliament. The last ones held this year were in Sierra Leone and Lesotho. These seminars and the association's other events and its electronic and paper publications promotes understanding of the parliamentary system in its many forms throughout the Commonwealth. Your Excellency, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, your participation is important for the success of this program. There's no other way for me to say it, so I'll say it again. Your participation is important to the success of this program. I also look forward to very interactive sessions on the various topics on the program before you. I wish you the very best in your deliberations. Thank you. We will now have opening remarks by Honorable Julianna O'Connor Connolly, JP Emily, Speaker of the Legislative Assembly, President and Chairman of the Executive Committee. Thank you, Madam Clark. A very special, warm, Kemanu welcome to my colleagues, those are speakers from Bermuda, Trinidad, and also to Ms. Heather Cook and also to Arlene. And later on, we would extend a warm welcome to the speaker from Dominica, Honorable Alex Boyd Knight, to my colleagues, and I do say colleagues because I do get to sit on the government's bench um, on very rare occasions. I want to take this opportunity to thank Don Rebel Premier for his vision and for his foresight in asking the Parliament of the Cayman Islands to assemble a post-election seminar as you would probably have observed, um, most of his government is young in, as far as it relates to being in parliament, but they have displayed to date, and I'm sure the whole country will attest to this, a great intellectual capacity and a deep burning desire to do what's best for this country, together with all other members of the House. I wish also to thank those members of the opposition, particularly Mr. Miller, Mr. Bush, who availed themselves. We wish to give apologies for the leader of the opposition, who's in Jamaica attending a funeral, the member from Easton, Mr. Arden McLean, who's also off-island on official business. I am excited about today because Cayman is an evolving democracy, and we're still trying to catch up to some degree as to civics and how our government works. And I believe that this is a a fresh new breeze that's blowing across the Cayman Islands today when we see parliamentarians um, putting their money basically where their mouth is and saying we're not too old to learn. And I believe that when we exemplify that deep burning desire for education and indeed excellence, it can only reverberate positively within our communities. 
So as speaker, I look forward also to participating, but also to learning. But for me, as a member of the CPA, it has that added dimension and that I get to welcome my colleagues from the CPA executive and extended family members within this jurisdiction so that we can share our, our knowledge within the Commonwealth and our um, diversity of experiences because believe it or not, out of many we're still one people and there's much that we can learn. Indeed, the good book says that iron sharpeneth iron and I believe there's a lot of iron that's gonna be sharpened here today for the enhancement, the augmentation, the greater benefit of these islands we love and call home, the Cayman Islands. I welcome you. The Honourable Aldi McLaughlin, OBE, JP, MLA, Premier, and Joint Vice President of the Executive Committee will now provide us with welcome and officially open the seminar. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Not to worry, I've asked the speaker's permission to, to speak from her, from her mic. I want to, to join with, uh, with everyone who's spoken before in welcoming all of you here this morning to this post-election seminar. I want to especially thank the, the visiting resource persons, very eminent. We have three speakers and the clerk as well as the representative from the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. And I believe that we will have the benefit of many, many years of parliamentary experience. I remember when I first came here in 2000 and there was one of these seminars organized and how very valuable I found it. Because politics and being a representative is one of the few jobs that you actually get elected not on the basis of, of what you know about parliamentary procedure but about what people believe you are capable of doing in terms of representing them in the country. And regardless of what skill, training, ability you may have otherwise, this is very much an, an alien place. When you first come here, it has its own set of rules and procedures and protocols and conventions. And uh, unfortunately for the new intake, you're also on TV from day one. So, so everyone gets to see what you know or don't know, as the case may be. And so I believe that, that this exercise over the course of the next couple of days will be very, very important and very, very useful to your understanding about how Parliament works, what the general rules are, why the rules are that way, the, the interaction and relationship between Parliament the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary, and about the process of passing everything from, from bringing motions and passing bills to the conventions and, and protocols that are observed in Parliament. And so I am delighted to seize all of the government, which I have the honor to lead actually here, um, except the deputy speaker who couldn't make it, but he has six terms under his belt, so I, I think he, he'll be okay with, <laughs> with this seminar. And I, I want to especially welcome the, the one opposition member who is new to the House, and I'm sure he will, uh, Mr. Mr. Barney Bush, I'm sure he will derive a tremendous amount from it. And to also um, thank and welcome the member from Northside, Mr. Ezzard Miller, for coming. He has a wealth of experience and no doubt will be able to add to the discussion and, and uh, debate that will transpire over the course of the next couple of days. And so with those few words, I, I welcome you all again, wish you good morning and would urge you all to stay as far as possible for all of the various elements of this program. I know ministers are inclined to believe that the work they have back at the Legislative Assembly, uh, by, at the Government Administration Building is more important than this. But this is the one opportunity that you will have over this term to, to learn about parliamentary procedure 
and I would urge you to have your personal assistance, um, postpone those appointments, and take the benefit of, of the seminar. We've had, or we have, the real benefit of, of some tremendously experienced resource persons, and I want us all to seize the opportunity to learn as much as we possibly can. There are a number of things in the offing which will be, will be spoken about in, in more detail later, but not least of which is the, the, the need to transition the, this um, legislative assembly to an autonomous body um, to separate it from its, its administration from the, from the executive. Believe it or not, that's uh, for those of you who are just visiting, that they are, this the administration of the Legislative Assembly is still controlled by, by the Deputy Governor. So that's one of the things that, that we will, will talk about, the importance of the independence of the legislature. The other is, of course, the, the crying need for modern standing orders. All of those things, I think, will be, the, the debate and discussion about all that will be informed by by what transpires here over the course of the next couple of days. So all in all, I expect it to be an exciting, informative um, two days, and I will do my very best to be here for as much of it as I possibly can, because there is still much for all of us to learn. And um, by standards in Cayman, I, I'm still a new parliamentarian, just starting my fourth term. So I look forward to, to the next couple of days. And thank you all very much.